Mesdames et Messieurs, Monsieur Kevin Costner. My feeling is that I would hope someday that you have a feeling like I had that night, last night. It's a, it was a remarkable moment for me. I, I found myself going back in time as I looked at the people. I thought they gave me such joy and I felt so much love and I didn't expect it. And I started to walk my life backwards, thinking how in the world did I get here? Epic, beyond your imaginations, which books, which... So I started this in 1988, and I couldn't meet it. I, but I wouldn't fall out of love with it. I couldn't make it, but I wouldn't fall out of love with it. Um, uh, I don't know what that says about me, but I couldn't fall out of love with Hayes. And so at a certain point in my life, you know, 15 years ago, I just named my son Hayes because I couldn't let go of it. And uh, and then all of a sudden, I put him in the movie. Um, that was the little boy. I don't know if, if you know, but did you all see the movie? Yes, I did. That the little boy who would not leave his father is my son, and he'd never acted before. Uh, you know French very well. <laughs> I don't know why it was so hard to get people to believe in the movie that I wanted to make. I've, I've made movies before, you know. I think my, don't think my movie's better than anybody else's movie, but I don't think anybody else's movie's better than mine. And I think that I make it for people. So I, it's a pattern for me. It's happened with Dances with Wolves, Field of Dreams, Bull Durham, the Open Range. Um, it seems to be a pattern that some of the things that I like are harder to make. My problem is that I don't fall out of love with what I think is something good. You know, the movie is a journey. It's not a plot movie. And, um, and the Native Americans, um, uh, are, are, are represented. I, I don't feel the need to, to uh, try to balance the story. I mean, a lot of people talked about Dances with Wolves as being a Native American story, and I said, no, it's not. It was a story about me. It was a story about a cavalry man who just went out to the West. The difference was the people that he ran up against, I tried to make look like people. So the feeling was, well, it was, it was their story. I, I couldn't, for one, begin to actually know, you know, to be the person that sets the record straight for Native Americans or for African Americans or for anybody. I just try to um, make it as real as I can.